Yo, we're back. Once again, doing some trapping. We're doing some more muskrat trapping today. Um, we're actually gonna be trapping inside of huts today. Just inside of huts, no bank dens. Um, I got, I think, eight foot holds. I got a couple one tens. If I can squeeze one into a hut in the right situation, we're gonna go for it. But, yeah, there's, this is just a bunch. There's like eight or nine of them just peppered out in this little bay here. And I suspect that we're gonna catch some rats in them. So, let's get to setting. There we go. All right, got our first hut here. Rats have definitely been using it pretty good. Got the old Victor stop loss. Stop loss or guard trap, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know. Oh, I think I just got into the hut, hut here. It's kind of a kind of a beast to get into for a feeder hut, you know. Am I not in the right spot here? Oh, there we. That's what I. There. So I'm actually changing plans. I'm going to put a number one jump trap inside this hut and not a stop loss because the feed pad and the inside of this little thing here really ain't that big. So I got a number one Victor jump here that we're going to settle on. We're going to put inside this hut. These are actually a really good little trap. Most of the time these rats will get caught in this trap and then they'll go down and they're gonna drown in this run here. So I'm just gonna go in and find the pad, position the trap right on it, put all the wire inside that hut. There we go. Plug that hole up, put some snow over the top of it, like so. Nice, it's gonna be warm out the next few days, like highs in the 30s, lows in the 20s. We got one trap set. We got another small hut. Just big enough for a jump trap, I'm gonna guess. Fit a bigger trap in there, I will. We're into it. Holy, it's actually a, it's a heck of a heck of a heck of a feeder hut. some of this floating bog up here so I can plug the hole back up here when I'm done. It's uh, actually really nice. Really nice hut. We're gonna we're gonna test the metal of this old Blake and Lamb jump. See if it can still produce. What do you guys think? Old bleak and lamb jump. We're gonna see what happens, you guys. I don't know. side there she's ready you guys I got enough stuff here to close her up seal her up there we go trap number two 
That's one heck of a feeder house, you guys. Like, like the king of feeder houses, if I had to call it anything. Huh. Okay. There. <laughs> I mean, there's just so much room in here. There we go. This should be. That's a good set. Wet it, plug the hole up like so. There we go. Big one here. Definitely gonna be settable, it's just more difficult. feeder hut. Yeah. More roots and everything in there. There we go. Get this wet material out here. Perfect. Perfect setup. Catch a giant marsh hare. Killing my eye. There we go. Get that guy right there. Get that out of the way. Let me see here. I don't like that. There we go. Perfect. That chain down in there. There we go. More of this snow. Oh, well, I think we got seven traps out, which is enough for me for now. 
Um, whew, it's a dinky hut out here. Maybe it might be number eight. Either way, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the check. What's up, everybody? We're back. We got seven or eight rat traps set out of these huts over here. Got one right here. Got a bunch of them peppered out in there. Just uh, wanted to shoot a rat trapping video where we set exclusively huts. No one tends on anything. So, uh, yeah. Got my buddy, Coon Creek, here. Uh, you are you can't trap rats in the huts, can you? No, this is going to be cool. So we're going to bust them open. And, yeah, we can't do that in Illinois. So we're going to actually bust them open, see what the inside of them is. So it should yeah. be cool. So the plan is, when we open these huts, they don't always go down and drown. Um, the plan is there's enough wire where the rat gets caught in the trap, goes down the drowning hole and drowns, and then you pull them out. But that's not always the case. So if we do get a live one, we'll uh, I'll dispatch it, and then we'll show you the after effect. So let's get out and check them. All right. Oh. Got our first set here. Didn't get too cold last night, so it just barely froze. Oh, we got a rat. Thanks for giving muskrat. So this is something that I've never been able to do. Uh, this is illegal in Illinois, but so you've got the muskrat hut here, and what you're doing is chopped inside of it. It's basically an open basin. Yep. And uh, you're so what setting it, a trap in there, basically just banking on them coming up yeah, out of the water. Actually, essentially, what it is is you know you you mentioned that you've pad trap before, right? Yeah. yeah. So essentially, when you reach in here, it is a pad that's in there, just inside of a little hut. Yep. So what I did is I go in there, cut a hole, pull out some of the the, the pad. And then what you do is you set a trap in there with some wire and then you come back the next day and then you hope that you got something in there like a big rat. Look at that right there. Two front feet in that trap. Two front feet in that trap and that's, a, that's actually one of my favorite traps to, to set in these small huts is a old school Victor number one jump. Cool. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice rat too. Yeah, so let's check you out there. That's ideally, that's exactly what uh, you want to do. You want to be able to pull that rat out of the hut, have it be, you know, expired. Oof, there we go. And uh, yeah, this is this was a really good hut. In fact, you can see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> you can see where they've been going into this hut. All right, so you can see, Scott's going to open that one up, but you can see the amount of activity here. Um, this bubble line through the ice where they've been going up into it. So hopefully, 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 <laughs> hopefully they've got something, something in there. Oh, got a got something, something going on. My chain's tight here. So when when trapping huts. I actually use my axe handle here because these, if you do get a, ra a rat in a drowning hole or something, they'll they'll kind of tangle it up in there. And all I'm trying to do is loosen up the material around this trap. A lot of, There's a lot of stuff. It's a good sign though. Yeah. Oh, I see a foot. There we go. That's a nice big That's rat. That's a nice big rat there. Got that in a, got in a Victor stop loss. And when we're, when we're trapping these huts, it's really nice to have a guard trap like that. Catches them by the back leg. That stop loss always goes off and just keeps their head and everything away from the trap. Yeah, that's a nice. So, so explain that stop loss in yeah. case you've never heard of it. So, so essentially what it is is this this device right here goes, you push that over, the pan goes down, and you set this trap. But what happens is um, I had this this one in the trap. So this trap goes off. Oop. This trap will go off. The rat's foot will be in the trap. And then what happens is this device goes over the leg. See that? 
and it keeps the muskrat away from the trap. It keeps it from spinning, basically. Yep, it, keeps it, it from... It applies just a little bit of pressure. Yep, and it's it's just pretty much like a leg hold. It gets caught just like that, and that that rat is not going to be able to twist around, you know, to possibly break that foot bone or whatever. Um, and same thing, if you catch them in the front foot, it will literally... You'll, you'll get here, and this device will be across the head or across the shoulder, and it also keeps the head away from, you know getting to that leg something happens hey, that's a nice big rat that's a nice, that's a nice big rat um, I'll uh, reset this trap for you guys quick so now this is the, this is a brand new Onita Victor um, I have some old ones that my grandpa my dad ran I still run those traps this is the newer Onita Victor guard trap you can get Duke make some um, or at least they used to I have some Duke traps they're all good traps Essentially, I'm reaching inside this hut. Now, this feeder hut here is really nice. There's, look at all that. See it? Wet material that I'm pulling out of there. Now, right, directly right here, is their main water hole where they are going down and out of that hut. So I'm going to set this trap. I'm going to shove this stick into the thing here. I'm going to set this trap down here, right in front of this water hole. Because when I put my arm in here yesterday, there was no other ones around. So they're coming up out of that to climb onto that pan or to climb onto that pad. They're gonna climb right into that trap again, and then hopefully go right back down that water hole. So then you have all this wet material here. I'm just gonna plug the hole with it, just like that. Now tonight, if it gets cold, all that water is always gonna make a nice seal around the hut here and freeze it up. That way, the hut will not freeze up inside. trap left here let's hope for a muskrat hope for a muskrat there we go so you guys you guys see me we caught a nice big rat in that Onita Victor out there, the brand new one. This is one of my grandpa's original Onita Victor. So you can actually see, see this guard, this this guard device right here we were talking about? When that fires, see that? Now this Miss Muskrat can't get back here. It just helps preserve the fur and then uh, they can't get back to that trap. But anyway, yeah, there we go. That's an, this, this trap here is probably, I don't even know, that's a oldie. <laughs> 40, or, 40 or 50 years old, and it's still, if I if I had, you know, if I'm reaching for muskrat traps, the very first muskrat trap I will literally reach for is this old, this old Victor stop loss here. <laughs> I wish, if, 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 I wish I could kind of tell stories, to be honest with you. Yeah, okay. You know, my grandpa trap back in the day. Yeah, well, there you go. Another nice rat. That's, uh, well, we ended up with three rats out of here. Yeah. Anyway. Nice fluffy there, Yeah, and there. Here we go. I do foul. Well, we're back for our last check on this muskrat pond. Um, I think we pulled three rats out of here yesterday when we were out here at Coon Creek outdoors. Uh, seven traps, right? Didn't I mean it? Didn't look like there was a million rats in this pond, but they got a few huts all together close. And I just wanted to shoot a uh, nice little hut video for you guys destroyed see that I don't know what happened Ooh, ah. I see the rat did not expire so I'm gonna get him out of there for you and we're gonna take a look this guy has tore the hut apart Here we go. Here he is. I had to finish him off quick. We just, I never show any of that on video, but that's the first rat down. Um, and he kind of destroyed this hut. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try to do my best to, to maybe plug it back up. Oh. Hopefully, we got something in the old Victor today. Produced a rat yesterday. 
we go nice front foot catch now yesterday we got we got a few in the stop loss in the back leg now today we only got two rats but at least I can show you see that stop loss device it comes across and keeps that rat's head away from the trap here because um, when they start twisting around and moving they can break their foot there and then what they do is they and try to just chew it off or whatever but my grandpa's old victor boys produced another rat that thing's caught so many muskrats it's insane i'm gonna just dig in here quick it's a nice hut there's a lot of material just laying in here so i'm just pulling a bunch of it out see that we're gonna plug that hole up really nice important important to wet that you know pull wet stuff up plug those holes up really good that way rats come in tonight tomorrow and they rebuild everything in there just the way they want it and you know that's just something important as a trapper that we need to do to assure that the muskrats that are remaining in this pond have the best chance to make it through the winter time well, we didn't pull the numbers I wanted to out of this pond, but we did pull five rats. We pulled three yesterday and two today. Um, I'm happy with that because I mean this is on this is in this is on the property where I'm trapping beaver at. So, you know, for me to just drive by these seven or eight muskrat houses and just disregard them, you know, if you want to go out and trap and have some fun, you know, hit all those fur pockets that you can on the way out. Um, when you're trapping these these areas Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this rat trapping video uh, Like I said, I just want to make make one of her trapping in the huts make sure if it's allowed in your state Make sure it's allowed in your state to trap inside the huts check your regulations Minnesota we're special apparently we get to trap in the huts most other states can't um, so I feel blessed like that uh, anyway Thanks for watching. Drop in Coon Creeks. Coon Creeks link in the description below. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I was